GTF Kisa was good. Another day, another video. GTF was good. GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, child. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. GTF was going on, man. GTF was going on, y'all. Oh, man. I got my seatbelt on. The reason the thing is making noise is because I got... I got like a battery charger. I got cell phones. So I got weight on the other seats. So not the other thing. It's going off for the passenger seatbelt because I got weight on the seats. But yeah, man. What's good, man? We a couple days shy of the Don't Day Car Show. You understand me? Which is my car show. You understand me? I've been doing that car show. This is the 8th annual, you heard? First time I did that car show was in 2015, y'all. Can't believe we're going on an eighth annual. You understand me? Time most definitely flies. You understand me? So with that being said, today is a freestyle type of day because I'm still getting ready for the car show. And right now I'm currently on the way to go pick up something for the car show. So I just figure I'll take you guys along for the ride. You understand me? We about to go over here and go pick this up. So I don't even know what we're eating today yet because... That depends what area we pick this stuff up in. I'm supposed to link up with, um, link up with fam. I'm supposed to link up with fam over here somewhere. So I don't know what's in the area yet, but you feel me? Once we pick it up and we get that out the way, then we'll be able to figure out what we gonna eat today, y'all. But I ain't gonna lie on another note. It's an ugly morning, y'all. It's an ugly morning. It's been raining all morning. You know, usually it rain in the afternoon. You know what I'm saying? When I'm doing my videos, well, not an afternoon, like late mornings. Going into the afternoon and rain, but this, but this morning it started raining from early in the morning. It been raining since about 6 a.m. You know, right now it's not currently wet, raining, but it's wet outside and it still, uh, still looks like it's gonna rain some more. You understand me? But y'all, fan, that's what we doing. So once we pick up this uh thing for the car show, then we'll figure out what we gonna eat. Also, you know, what I'm saying like I was saying before, the GTF is more than welcome to come out to the car show. The car show is going on in Eustis, Eustis, Florida which is near the Orlando area. It's at the Lake County Fairgrounds. You understand me? The GTF is more than welcome to come. You understand me? Because it's my car show. You feel me? The GTF is more than welcome to come. You understand me? But y'all fam, we about to go pick this thing up. All right, fam. He just pulled up. Let's see what he got for us, yar. All right, fam. We about to see what he got for us, yar. Huh? How's everything? Everything goes going on. Good. And you, um, show me real quick. Yeah, sure. How's business? Everything good? Everything good. What's going on, boss? Okay. Oh, that's nice. Can y'all see what's going on, man? That's beautiful. Yes, sir. The master's design, right? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alright, fam. We in the whip. And we got the banners, here. So we got two of them. Two of them things. You feel me? Y'all see what them things look like, so I ain't got to unravel them for you. Uh, that's my partner, them. Uh, the master designs, you feel me? They've been uh, doing banners for me since I started doing my car shows in 2015. Always come through your shout out to the master's design, you understand me? But yeah, man, we got these on deck. Uh, I still haven't figured out what we're gonna eat yet because I'll wait until I get these. So now that I got these out the way, now it's time to figure out what we're gonna eat, yeah. All right, fam, I'm back, yeah. I'm back. And I done figured it out, you understand me? The other day I was talking to one of my homies and he was telling me about, well, not the other day I was talking to one of my homies. I had talked to my homie a while back about going to this place called Old Rice in Miami Gardens, you understand me? My homie told me a lot of good things about it, but I ain't gonna lie, you feel me? Being that I got a lot of stuff going on, I been a forgot, you understand me? So the other day I was on YouTube Live a couple days ago, three, four days ago, and somebody else uh, from down here from Miami, Florida, Mentioned the old rice thing again, and then it dawned on me like, yo, the homie did mention old rice not too long ago, and then now, you feel me, somebody else just done mentioned it again. I'm like, you know what? 
I think it's about time we go check out what this old rice hidden for, you heard? So we on our way right now to go see what this old rice hidden for. We in traffic with it, you heard? Let go! All right, fam. We pulling in right now. All right, fam. This is about to be my first time going to Old Rice. I've been to this plaza before. I never even knew that this. You have arrived. I never even uh, knew that the old rice place had existed, you feel me? Man, come on, bro. You gonna cross the street or what, bro? Fam, I used to have a Monte Carlo, like this Monte Carlo you see right here. I used to have one, but I used to have an SS version, you heard? The, you know I mean? The V8, you heard? Front wheel drive joint, you understand me? Oh, they got a Renaissance. Renaissance still around? They got a Renaissance in this plaza? No, you heard? Okay, I see the old rice place over here off to the left hand side. Fam, I ain't gonna lie. The way this old rice place is looking, it's supposed to open at uh, 11 30. Oh, man. They ain't, don't look like they're gonna open today, bro. The gates closed down. they supposed to open at 11 30, I believe. And uh, the thing, the shutter's still down. That's crazy. All right, fam. I am highly bothered right now, y'all. I am highly bothered, man. We pulled up to this restaurant, and they ain't even open, bro. But they hours are operational on Google. See, they supposed to be open, bro. But you pull up, shut us down. No nothing going down, you feel me? Shut us down with the lock on that mug. You understand me? I am highly bothered, man. See, this is one thing. People could complain all the time about people doing reviews on fast food restaurants like Mickey D's, Burger King, KFC, Popeye. Y'all could complain about them places all you want. But one thing when it come by the operation hours, you gonna pull up the uh, Mickey D's? Like if they ain't got no construction going on or nothing of that sort, you gonna pull out the Mickey D's, you gonna pull out the BK? They gonna be open, bro. They gonna be open, believe that, man. Cause these other businesses, bro, they be tripping, bro. They operation hours be all totally out of whack. You pull up to places, they ain't open on time. You pull up the places. When they supposed to be open, or oh, it's going to take them extra time to get ready. All that. See, you don't got to deal with that fast. So y'all can sit there and talk about fast food restaurants. The people out there that do not, that, that be knocking fast. Or oh, yeah, oh, that's junk food. Or oh, that's that, that's that. But one thing about them fast food restaurants, they're going to be on time. You understand me? They're going to be on time. Believe that. So now we back to square one. Now we about to square one, you understand me? So now I done wasting my time, wasting my gas can't wait over here in Miami Gardens. You understand me? To only be back at square one. <laughs> it's crazy, fam. I don't know, man. We're gonna figure it out. Alright, fam. So uh remember the other day I was telling y'all about I went to the subway to try the pizza. To try their subway pizza and um, that subway didn't have it or what have you. So there's a subway was down the street, so I looked them up on Google. And I called the phone number and they said that they got pizza. So that pizza that we didn't get to try last week sometime. Your destination is on the left. We're gonna try it today, you understand me? At least these people told me that they have it, you understand me? But you know, you never know with these places. You might pull up and uh, they might tell you one thing on the phone and when you pull up, they ain't got nothing. So we here, you heard? All right, fam, let's try this again. Let's go see what this pizza hitting for. All right, fam, we got the grub, you heard? Y'all already know, grub on sight, don't cause no fight. Uh, all right, fam, we in a whip, and we 
got the glove here. I ain't gonna lie, fam. I'm happy that I was able to get my hands on that Subway pizza, you know, because I was trying to get my hands on it last week. And, uh, yeah, last week. And I wasn't able to get my hands on it because that one Subway that I went to didn't have any product. You understand me? How you gonna run a business and ain't got no product? Y'all tripping. You feel me? But yeah, we got that. You feel me? Uh, so we about to try that out. Uh, Y'all already know the vibe. Time to set up Grub Tim Mobile Studios! We got that. We got this. We got the whites. I'm really getting tired of unorganized places, bro. Like places that don't operate how they how they supposed to operate. How they, you know, y'all the one that made the operation on us. Why are you guys not open when you the ones when you guys are the ones that make the time? Y'all make the time. Y'all make the hours, whatever y'all call it. But yet y'all not open at the times that you guys set. That don't make no sense. Absolutely no sense. You feel me? Absolutely no sense. Just like I said, man, y'all could down them fast food restaurants, always junk food, da, da 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 But one thing about them people, them people gonna be open on time. Believe that. Believe that, Jared. Believe that. Had to throw a little extra excess water out. Alright, fam, so let's pop this thing. Oh! So I got a meal, so I came with a bag of chips and a drink, you know? Well, I ain't gonna lie, that pizza smell good, dude. I ain't gonna catch it. Pizza from a sub shop. Pizza from a sub shop, you know? Voila. All right, fam, that close-up action, you know? That's the pizza. I got the bag of chips. Baked barbecue, you understand me? But as far as the pizza go, I got a chicken bacon ranch pizza, you understand me? Chicken bacon ranch on that thing, you understand me? I ain't gonna lie, that thing smelling good in my nose right now, fam. And then at the end, when they took it out of the oven, I said, you know what? Go ahead and throw some banana peppers on that thing, you understand me? And then I mean, you know what I mean? It's called, it's a chicken bacon ranch, so they put the ranch on it at the end. You see that ranch dressing all up on there? Well, that thing looking good up on there? I ain't even cap with y'all. Hey, y'all drop them comments. Let me know what y'all think, man. You gotta pull one for the GT, yeah! Alright, fam. Here it is, y'all. Here it is. Here it is, fam. It's that. It's that. Subway pizza. Uh, chicken bacon ranch pizza to be exact, you understand me? It's that chicken bacon ranch pizza. I ain't gonna lie to have it. It's a, like a personal pan size pizza. So it's cut into like four slices. I done had like two slices for the short form video already, you understand me? Got two more slices left. I ain't gonna lie, your boy's kind of getting to a point where he full. You feel me? But so this is chicken bacon ranch. And I added, you know, they put in the they put the cheese on and they put in the oven. So when they put in came out the oven, I told them to add uh banana peppers to it. You know, they drizzled that ranch dressing on there, you understand me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You feel me? But, uh, yeah, so that's what we got here. I got a combo, by the way. So it came with a pizza. You could even get the drink. You could have got, got a chips or two cookies. I got the chips. I got these baked chips right here, baked barbecue chips. And I got a drink. You understand me? But yeah, man, so here goes nothing, you understand me? Look at that. Y'all see that crust? It's a good amount of thick crust. I mean, you know, we got different people out there in the world. We got people who like thick crust. We got people who like thin crust. Some people don't like thick. If you don't like thick crust, then you might not like this pizza. But if you like thick crust, then you might like this pizza. You know, everybody different. Everybody got their own preference. You understand me? We all different. Nobody right or wrong. You feel me? Everybody just got their own preferences. You understand me? But yeah, so this is the pizza right here. Good thick crust on there, as you can see. See that uh, ranch dressing all that all on there? Yes, sir. You know I love me some ranch. So I can't wait to get to that. Yes, sir. But here we go. Hit me, man. 
Mm-hmm. Subway knows something. They finally know something. Because with them subs, they don't know nothing. You understand me? I used to like Subway subs back in the day, but I think they kind of fell off a little bit. But I definitely think the pizza can help them out. You feel me? The pizza is good. Let me hit it one more time. Hit that bit. Mm. some good pizza. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. You know what I mean? So the crust, so the crust is uh, thick, but slightly soft. I mean, towards the uh, ending of the crust, it gets a little harder. But going, you know, the deeper you go out, like let's just say if you was on the ocean, you going in the, you going to, it's, if you on the beach, you feel me? The deeper you go out, the more soft it get out there. You understand me? But I definitely like the crust. Me. I like, as long as the crust is good, I don't mind it thick or thin. You know what I mean? I don't mind. It's cheesy. The ranch dressing on there, creamy. The chicken tender and flavorful. The bacon on there adds that wonderful flavor on there. You understand me? You got the banana pepper that adds a bit of tanginess on there. You got to have my tanginess sometimes. You understand me? But yeah, man. Overall, this is a good pizza. I would definitely get this again, y'all. Hit me, man. I know some of y'all gonna say, I already know it's coming. 1207? For the personal size pizza? The pizza by itself would have been eight something. It would have been grub fun to half a dub. It would have been eight something. But I told to get the combo because I wanted a drink. I wanted a, I wanted a raspberry iced tea. You know I mean, I like raspberry iced tea as well for those who don't know. So I wanted, so I got the combo, you feel me? The chips, the baked chips, I'll probably eat those later on, whatever. But I wanted a raspberry iced tea, so that's why I got the combo for the 1207. But if you wonder if the pizza is 1207 by itself, no, it's not. It's like eight something, you feel me? So it's grub for under half a dub if you get the pizza solo, you heard? But yeah, man, overall, this is some good pizza. I mess with it. I got one slice left. I'm going to say that slice for later. <laughs> Your boy getting four right now. But yeah, this is some good pizza. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Call them pizza way. You understand me? Subway, I'm gonna call y'all pizza way from now on. Because I prefer y'all pizza over y'all sub. Y'all? Hit me, man. Mm. Fam, I saw somebody on the channel on the live. Make a comment about uh, I don't talk about the shows no more. Like I was, I, cause I was, at one point I was talking about the TV shows towards the end, of, end, of, end of the long form videos. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of did slow down on that. But to be honest with you, like I was shocked that somebody even commented about that, cause I didn't really think too much of the GTF really cared about when I talked about the TV shows. You feel me? So I see one person mention it, so I don't know. I might look at to start doing that again. But yeah, man, we getting ready for the car show. Car show coming this Saturday, you feel me? Today is Wednesday. We like three days away, you heard? Time is a flying, you understand me? We getting ready. But yeah, fam, that's all I got for y'all today. I still got preparation to make for the car show, so I got to get out of here. Um, Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, go ahead on and join the GTF. How you join the GTF, you ask? All you got to do is subscribe. Once you subscribe, you're a part of the GTF. What is the GTF? GTF is the Grub Tent family, you heard? 90,000 plus strong family. You understand me? Go ahead on and join. If you're already part of the GTF, appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead on and like and share the video. All that you heard. Y'all already know the vibes. It's GTF for life.